They say you have two lives. The second one begins after you realize you just have one. Why would you quit something that seemed to be so good, right? Like how many women do you know that are stay at home wives? I guess the cat's out of the bag. I quit my corporate job. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm deciding to film a video that has been on my mind for a while but it just never felt like the right time but i'm just gonna rip the bandit off because i do want to talk about my experience let's jump into it i quit my corporate job recently it feels kind of good to say out loud because i feel like i've been keeping it more so private and i haven't been sharing with people because it's just weird it's like why would you quit something that seemed to be so good right i just want to kind of start off by saying that at one point this was exactly where i wanted to be like i wanted to be a corporate girl like i wanted to have an office job i wanted like a white collar job i wanted a high paying job i wanted to work for a big company like these are all the things that i did really want at one point in my life but it just it isn't really who I want to be right now in this moment. You change and you evolve as time goes and I feel like this is kind of where I landed. And just to give a little background, I am the first generation of my family to be here in this country. So my family and I, we were all born in Ecuador, but when I was two years old, my family came over here to New York actually. So that's an important piece of the story. I feel like because there's so much guilt that is involved in like leaving such a good position when your family came here for like a better life, you know? I thought it would be a fun idea for me to get ready. Um, I have a doctor's appointment very soon, so I'm just gonna get ready while I tell you the story. I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of foundation. I like to put it on with my fingers. Growing up, I felt like I was always like more so an artistic child. I would sketch like dresses and I would be really into like Teen Vogue and I, I think I was into fashion and I used to want to be like an entrepreneur when I was like a kid. I'd be like, oh, like I want to own like a candle store. I want to like design my own shoes. I was an artistic child and that followed me even through high school and i remember in high school that's when youtube became like a big thing and i was like i want to do this like i want to make videos this is so cool this is so fun at the time it's like i didn't have the resources to produce a video i always let that stop me when i was younger and then like in college when i was picking colleges i was kind of like oh i want to go to like fashion school i want to go to the fashion institute of technology i did want to study a more creative career path but it wasn't an option really because i don't know it was perceived as like why do that when you can be like an accountant why do that when you can be like study business like why do that when you can study like an actual career so i studied economics got my degree in that i ended up meeting amazing people i ended up getting a job um right out of college corporate job right out of college and i was so happy and honestly i still am so grateful like i could i could never say that i regret it because it was, it was a great job i mean like great benefits sometimes we would travel for work so that was nice I, I met really amazing people and i learned so much i was there for like four and a half um years and i just started feeling like one day one day one day i'm gonna pursue what i want to do i was kind of sharing with my close loved ones i want to quit my job and pursue like what i actually want to do and they were like just pursue what you want to do after work do it on the weekends like hustle i did try that for some time but it just led me to be extremely tired i completely stopped i started this channel in like in 2019 um i started a boutique so i was doing like my creative ventures on the side of my job but it just could it just didn't work for me i had to quit my creative ventures or put them to the side i was kind of back to being like really like sad i kept on going to my loved ones and being like i really want to do this and they would just be like suck it up suck it up and do it you have a great job you're making great money don't quit like just find something else and i was like fine and i was looking for other jobs but the more i read the job descriptions i was like i don't want to do this like i don't 
want this kind of job. I want to do my own thing. I want to be in control of my time, in control of like what I do, how much I work. I want to like see the fruits of my labor. I got married. I feel like that's a big, another big part of the story because in marrying my husband who he lives in another state, I was like so happy to leave New York because I've been there my whole life and I wanted to see what else was out there and I just wanted a change of pace like I, I was ready you know and I had visited Connecticut so many times like through dating my now husband that I was like yeah this is really cute like I, I could see myself living here so when I moved I was just like yeah like I'll handle the commute and it'll be fine but I feel like that commute just doubled again just using my fingers because sometimes I'm too lazy to get tools and I feel like my fingers work just fine. The commute doubled and it stressed me out even more because it's like, picture you already feel like you want to be doing something completely different than corporate America. And then you have to like commute so far. So in the mornings you're literally like, oh my gosh, this is like a lot. Just, I would freak myself out. I would get anxiety because I'm like, oh my God, like I, why am I doing this to myself? Like I should just take the plunge and quit. Um, so I was going through like other stuff like in my in my life personal life like all the changes that Had come from getting married and just leaving my family. It was rough because it was a lot happening I decided to have a conversation, you know with my husband and Let him know what's going on. He knew what was going on though. He knew He knew where I was at but I just was like hey, I, I need to I need to take some time off of work so I I went on a leave of absence took the time to like regroup with myself and figure out what do I want to do? Do I want to go back to this job? Do I want to move closer to this job and like stay in it for a little longer because at least it's a job in this bad economy and I can maybe really try this time to make my like creative endeavors work on my time off. Like do I just want to go back to school? Do I want a different corporate job? But I feel like through thinking through all the options it just didn't make sense to go back to another job right away and it was like everything i was trying to do it was trying to ultimately get back to this living in my purpose idea doing my own thing having creative passion projects that i'm working on it was like everything was like get a job so you can fund this you know stay at stay at a job so you can fund this but like it wasn't working already for me like I was trying to do that like I'm only one person <laughs> and I have family and I have people like I, I can't just after work just close myself off to the world and work on everything I need to do like I want to spend time with my family I took a lot of time to pray because I am a Christian woman and I feel like I had to like relinquish this huge burden I had that felt so permanent like it was a decision that felt so permanent and I had to give it to God so I was like praying every single day I started fasting I'm like I get a little teary-eyed asking God for an answer I wanted to like hear God like I literally wanted to hear God in my ear like saying like choose this but that didn't happen um so that was a little like rough for me but eventually I started to feel more afraid of going back to work than I did to not go back i was more afraid to go back to work and less afraid to quit so i felt like that in itself was like the answer from god it was like you know he had already put people in my life that were helping me kind of think through things and i feel like ultimately i still wanted to do what i wanted to do like that's how deep in my heart this idea was so i was like you know what i just have to do it i just have to take the leap of faith and i know i know that my god will not leave me alone in this walk that i'm gonna go on in this what it feels like unconventional walk this very narrow path like how many women do you know that are stay-at-home wives i feel like it's not a lot like i don't know any i know one but anyway so once i had my answer and i felt like god was gonna be with me regardless of whatever I ch chose um I decided to to do it I was like let me just quit and it was so scary to have that conversation with my manager but my manager ultimately was like understanding about it so it's been a couple months since I 
have quit and now that i'm on the other side of it i can definitely say quitting my job did not solve all my problems as i thought it would i still struggle with motivation i sometimes struggle with being in a rut i thought i would have the time to do everything i wanted to do and and i don't have the time i think between like taking care of the house and like taking care of my husband and myself you know cooking cleaning i have a pretty full agenda so now i'm like having to divide that with pursuing my creative passions like having a youtube channel and it, having a youtube channel is extremely hard work um it's a lot of fun but it, cr it requires strategy you know it requires you studying like what is working on youtube studying other videos like what are people searching for why would people even care about my video you know like it's just a lot and sometimes you you put in hours into a video that doesn't even do well and it's like you feel super like down so that has been like hard because there's days where i'm like oh like is this really for me like so i'm not trying to sway anybody to quit their job <laughs> that's for sure i'm just making this video to help somebody maybe you need to hear something that i'm saying or just sharing my story will impact you in some kind of way and make you think about certain things you maybe haven't thought about or like just hearing it from somebody who has already done it i don't regret quitting though i still feel like every day is very exciting every day is an opportunity to just pour into my creative outlets and i feel super fulfilled being at home having slow mornings slowing down a bit cooking my meals cleaning my house like i feel very fulfilled by all of that but sometimes i struggle with loneliness i struggle with loneliness because i don't have my co-workers to talk to every day i do call my family more so that's like a plus because i feel like while i was working i wasn't able to just do that like i do now i still struggle with feeling lost some days i just have to remind myself that there's nothing that my god cannot do and i can't limit myself or not believe in myself i have to have faith in the lord like i have to trust the season that i'm in because i'm here for a reason and even if this doesn't work out it'll be okay like it's not over i know people might not understand where i'm coming from with my faith and just kind of leaving it all together like that and that's okay i had to let go of what people thought about me i had to let go of that let me just try to get my mascara done real quick because i literally cannot multitask like i thought i could being a people pleaser had to stop because i couldn't just please everyone around me and then be unhappy on the inside with myself society is going to say that i'm lazy i just don't want to work but i had to let go of all that because people who have succeeded in their own ventures would not make fun of somebody who is trying to start their own ventures the only one i should care what he thinks is god is jesus like that's the only one that's the only person that i should care for their opinions you know so i have to stay grounded in my identity my identity is with jesus and i can't sit here worried about what other people say because i can't please man and god i'm really really thankful for my husband because he has truly been a huge supporter i mean he was literally like you can go back to work or you can not go back to work the world is your oyster like i support you we've been okay god is in control i love the fact that i have a christian leader christian man and leader of the house because he is that person it's like i feel safe to follow him and just i get emotional again <laughs> i feel super grateful to have my husband's support because i feel like i don't know how i can do this without his support and i will try to stop getting emotional because this might be uncomfortable for you guys to watch and i definitely don't want to watch this video over then <laughs> so i'll put a little highlighter i guess the cat's out of the bag i quit my corporate job i know people will ask questions so what are your plans what do you want to do the thing is that i just like to build in private i just don't want to disclose i think that's part of why i've been kind of keeping it to myself you know because i'm i'm just figuring it out too like i don't have the answers <laughs>
you don't have the answer sway every day i'm literally so grateful to god for this experience for just being able to take the time off god really knows what he's doing he has the perfect perfect timing and i'm just trying to learn to trust him more with my life i hope this was entertaining to watch i hope this helps you in some way and um, I just want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.